blackouts, no missed payments here. You can always hear <laughs> the games of the Texas Rangers right here on 105.3 The Fan. I do I do want to make that pretty clear. Usually we hop on here and BS a lot, Kevin, to start the show, but I want to be very adamant about this. I People text, tweet me. People I know people say stuff to Mike out at the games. Kevin, you get this conversation a lot. I'm just as frustrated as the as the every man fan out there that doesn't have Bally and is trying to figure out how to watch these games constantly. And if you don't have it, or if you don't have it, you're like, man, I can't watch my favorite team. If you want to, you'll pay for it, even if you hate them, right? But sure. uh, but that being said, I do not control Bally. But what? I, I know, I know, Kevin. I've run a lot of things in my life, That's uh, true. but I have not. I do not control them, but. I can always offer the Odyssey app up to the Tolos. I can always say that that'll be available. You're going to hear Sandler and Hixie crushing it Peasley on the pre and post game show, and you'll get all of our uh, uh, clumsy content uh, <laughs> and famous content <laughs> to go around it because we're just Tolos and fans just like you. But that is the big thing is I can't control that, but since I can't control it, I listen on the Odyssey app. That's how I get my Rangers. Okay, so here's the deal, because there's a lot coming up. And I promise we'll get to the segment we were just talking about in Cross Sock at 1020. All right? Yes, segment. So, thank you. Is Here's, here's what's happening, because there's a lot of moving parts. And it could definitely affect you as a fan of the Rangers. But Corey's absolutely right. When all else I need fa- to know this. I okay. actually get paid okay. kind of by Bally's. When all else fails, Rangers. you can hear it on the fan. So here's, here's <laughs> the deal from a variety of sources. So, Sports Business Journal reported that the Padres had taken over distribution of their own games. That officially starts today because the Diamond Sports Group had missed payments. So now the Rangers... And the Reds and the Diamondbacks and the Guardians and the Twins, I believe, are all going to be in a Houston bankruptcy court today because all of those teams have had at least one missed payment. That's the thing. And, like, there's going to be more on the horizon because I think Diamond Sports Group has something like 14 to 16 teams. And so that's going to happen today. I'm on sportsillustrated.com right now, si.com, and it says that they skipped their payment to the Rangers on April 15th. Was that's their a first bad decision. Skipped payment. Um, and then it says At 30 it's days. not clear if DSG skipping the second payment scheduled for June, but it doesn't have June 1 or June 30, but I assume June 1, the way I've right. read things. Or wouldn't you think maybe June 15th? Maybe, maybe of, so of, of April 15th would trigger the Rangers getting their rights back. The Rangers made it clear before the season that if DSG were to skip a payment, they would consider their agreement severed. I'm just I'm now, reading from SI.com. Now here's the other part I wanted to bring up about that. It might not matter when it is in June because of the Texas Rangers argument, and I believe what will happen in the bankruptcy court today is they said as soon as DSG missed a payment, they had 30 days to get square, okay. to cure the payment, but essentially means catch up and get square. Well, you can figure that out. The 30 days has passed. What? So I think May if, 15th, 15th. If, if, I, if I'm to understand this correctly, I believe the Rangers, and I'm assuming they're kind of doing this as a block with those other teams. I'm assuming the basic argument is they missed the payment, They had 30 days to rectify that. Those 30 days have passed. We now believe that our agreement is severed. And so that's what they're looking to do is what the Padres got is they got their broadcast TV rights back. And then you can go any number of directions, whether you want to go directly off of TexasRangers.com. And I'm assuming they would work into an agreement with MLB. Right. That to be determined. But you would now have control and you wouldn't be sitting around for a company that is dealing with bankruptcy issues. I have no clue about this, Corey, but I wonder... Obviously, getting to do the games for pre and post for Fox Sports Southwest, now Bally Sports Southwest, is you watch the commercials, and I guess they're in, I don't know this, like, did they make those agreements with the Texas Rangers, so those commercial agreements go go through the Texas Rangers now, because... I don't know. I don't know how all of that works, but it seems like a lot in the middle of a season. I'm assuming the Rangers yeah. know and MLB knows exactly how to 
let's just say today is the last game on Bally Sports Southwest. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it is. Maybe they're going to continue broadcasting until the next payment is due. I don't know. I, it's weird that I don't know. I think today's court hearing will yeah. kind of decide that honestly like i'm not trying to throw off your other work schedule yeah but i think they might be like hey today here's the deal it goes back to the rangers and then is somebody gonna file an appeal like how's that all gonna work does it go to channel 21 does it go to channel 33 i can't remember which one it would sometimes go to if there was a mavericks rangers stars one of those three was like hey they're both playing on the same night we can't put them on that channel and at that time i believe fox sports southwest didn't have an alternate channel yeah. which they have now so they would throw it on channel 21 or channel 33 yep. and some 39 for yeah. back in the day so yeah. i'm just yeah. i'm wondering on friday if this thing falls through are the rangers going to be obviously they're going to do it through rangers slash mlb but you have to put it on a channel Mm -hmm. is it going to be on the mlb like channel which means you have to have the mlb kind of package great question yeah i mean is it or is it going to be the rangers website yeah yeah, like we're going to give that channel for free but if you have i'm assuming this youtube tv and you don't get mlb network and you don't get the mlb package do they just throw that on YouTube TV somehow, some way? I, I'm, I'm confused on how this will all work if this goes through the way that the Padres now own their rights to their broadcasting. And what I'm curious about as well is, by the way, Major League Baseball is taking over the broadcasting rights for the Padres. For, for the Padres. And I, so you would assume that would be the next step as we figure out distribution. I just I, wonder what channel they're on in yeah, San Diego. Because I know a lot of people just assume, like, if Diamond Sports Group goes down the tube or if the Rangers win this case today, that everything is back to normal and you'll get to see all the games for free. And I just don't know if that's going to be the ch- the case. Here's the other thing I worry about. Go ahead. In March, this is in March 30th, uh, Axios posted this. Uh, worst case scenario, if Bally fails and MLB TV doesn't black out uh, market games, then Evan Grant suggests... You can always tune into the radio and let your mind create the pictures. And he listed the fan, I'm sure. Nah, I doubt it. He but, forgot that part. So here's the other part. Yeah. I've always been curious how this affects payroll, right? How much do you think? Sorry, the, the, their texts are saying the Rangers are screwing their fans. Okay. The Rangers have nothing to do with it. So them. here's where I think that comes from is I... I the Rangers did. The Rangers did sign this deal. Now you have to much go, like Mark Cuban yeah, has said, exactly. we signed a deal, a twenty-year deal. We're, we're but you stuck have to, go to this all the way back to 2010, and it's just really tough to have made the assumption off of 2010 that this would eventually happen. The other reason they made this deal, it was for all of the money. Do you know how much this deal was worth? Four hundred billion dollars, almost. Right. I think it's three billion. Three right? billion dollars for just the Rangers. All right. So over twenty years, that's one hundred and fifty million dollars a year. The bankruptcy court, or some of the papers filed with the bankruptcy court, are saying that Bally's, or excuse me, yeah, Bally's, and the Diamond Sports Group still owe the Rangers one hundred and eleven million dollars this year. Wow. I'm not saying if. The rights relinquish and go to MLB. MLB is like, hey, thanks for this for free. Yeah. But I don't know what that money is going to be. And let's say it's $51 million. Okay, so you just lost $60 million worth of revenue. So what I've always wondered if this fell apart, because this has been rumored for, what, two, three, four years, is would this impact the Rangers and these other teams' payroll at all if under your new structure... Let's say MLB sets it up and they're like, you know what? Now you get $80 million a year. And you're like, neat. We were getting 150. So, like, I, I've always been curious yeah. what that would do with I, payroll. I think it's a great question, and I don't know this. But I'm assuming this. Most teams love when their TV agreement runs out because there's a bidding war for live sports television. And so I'm assuming if this agreement runs out this year, I'm a this could hurt Ray Davis and the Texas Rangers this year, but I'm assuming they would be pumped that they got out of the last six to seven years of this deal because I bet now it's worth, let's say, over a 10-year period, uh, $2 billion. So if you were to sign a... Tw- now, the I think MLB has to make this decision with the Texas Rangers and with these other teams. 
Can we make more than, let's say with the Rangers, I know different teams generate more money. Can we make more than $2 billion over a 10 year period just doing it ourselves? That's a good. If the answer is no, then you go shop it out to whoever uh, in the local market and you say, hey, we're looking for a. I I assume after this happened, you might not want to sign a 20 year deal. That. I you, think would be a very savvy point. Max out point. at ten years. I I would look at and because somebody did ask this question, and this is a good question. So wait, I pay for ballet, and I would not be able to watch on ballet after this, depending on how it goes in the Houston bankruptcy court today. That is absolutely a viable option. I personally, my just guess on this would be they give them until like they give them till June fifteenth, and if they don't make both payments then they'll strip it away. And I don't think Diamond Sports Group can do that. I do not believe fiscally they can make that happen, especially since they already let the Padres walk. Now, I want to go back to this for people who are saying it's going to be on TXA 21. Let's go. Okay, here's the deal. What? I'm just going to tell you what's happening in the Padres case. So just prepare yourself, all right? So remember, we talked about this before the season started. The MLB set up their local media department to, like, deal with these potential defaults on these payments. So the Padres right now, what they announced last night, MLB and the Padres announced, you can watch the games on DirecTV, Cox, Spectrum, AT&T, U-verse, and Fubo. I don't know specifically what channel and how that would translate to DFW. Here's the part people aren't going to like. Or MLB politely reminded everybody that they have a $19.99 per month subscription or $75 for the rest of the year. And the reason why I bring that up is you know how much people complained yeah. when we heard the price point of Bally's being $20 a month. So yeah. I believe depending on what channel it kicks over to, it is entirely possible that people will have to subscribe to MLB.com. What will be interesting in that case, you do get every game That's all true. year of all the teams. But right now, if you have the MLB package, you get blacked out of it's Ranger games. Out. You don't get to watch Ranger games. If you're in the San Diego area, you get blacked out of San Diego games. A lot of times you get block, blocked out, blacked out of the um, Angels and Dodgers games because they're close enough to San Diego that they feel like that's still a local market for you because we get blacked out of Astros games. If the Astros yeah, yeah. are on MLB Network for the day game or the Sunday game or whatever it is on MLB Network, I'll flip it over and say, you're not allowed to watch this game because you're in the Houston market. And I'm like... Man, I feel like I can't even drive to Austin to watch my Rangers. Is what you're saying? I, I don't think so. I think it covers uh, pretty much Oklahoma and Texas, part of Arkansas and part of Louisiana. But I don't know this. Will MLB pull all the blackout type of restrictions? I feel like this they. Have, I feel like to, they right? have to. You yeah. have to say there's no. If you buy this package, you have to get the Rangers because you're buying this package so you can watch your local team. And out of all years, right? If this would have happened the last five years. I think Ranger fans that are hardcore Apathy. would be yeah. like, dang it. But I think a lot of the marketplace would say, well, tell me when they're good. And then I'll see if I can go get the product. But they are great this year. They, It feels like they just can't lose. They're so fun to watch. And so this year, I think a lot of people have come back to the Rangers and really want to watch them. The other thing that I'm noticing now is I guess I never like examined this original deal that the Rangers made. The Rangers did make that deal at the most unbelievable time, right? Because they made it back in, I think it's 2010. After the sale of the team, I believe. Yeah, exactly. And what what was happening then? The Rangers were hot. And 2011, obviously hot. So I told you how much money they're getting. Other teams are way different. So I'm looking at the Padres, for example. They get $60 million per year. A, A Twins reporter said they get $40 million per year. And so the Rangers, for the longest time, have been getting way more off of their regional sports network than some of these other teams, which don't goes back the, to my payroll concerns. Don't the Dodgers get close to $500 million? Which, that that makes sense to me, because that's and the... And I think the Yankees do. Like I think there, M- yeah. are, there are some teams, Boston, New York. Like, I think A they, million percent. They kill the Rangers uh, TV rights. they runs. probably should. Right, but then the Rangers do kill a lot of other... Probably Detroit, who you're playing today. I bet Detroit is maybe at fifty million dollars a year. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah. So look, it's the hearing. The only is, way the MLB is ever going to get me back, Kevin, is to offer me my product for absolutely free. And as a matter of fact, 
they should pay me to watch their product. And so, then I'll be back. I appreciate what you're saying, and look. I need a coupon. Fingers crossed. Just a coupon. You know I appreciate a good coupon. I love that. But I think MLB is going to go, attendance is up, TV ratings are up, our money's up. You want our product, you'll come find it. So at the winter meetings, they basically said, hey, all the teams, we need y'all to be better so that whenever all this collapses in front of us, that we can start charging people. I mean, they set up this. <laughs> they set up these. The Rangers decide. We have Three billion dollars that we're working with. This is the year we're going to spend it all. You know what? And it no, could. I mean, they spent some last. Honestly, year. it could be oddly fortuitous for the Rangers again because this is the best they've been in a long time, and now their TV rights might be up. They're probably like, "Hey, it's not the worst thing that could have happened. This could have happened three years ago." And I'll be like, "I'll give you a buck fifty to show your game." <laughs> and so now, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now, but yeah. again. Regardless of what Players happens should strike this year. In the no. What? No. This is a great time to strike. Regardless of what happens in the Houston bankruptcy court today, remember, you can hear all games, including today's game, right after us. Wow. Right here. I don't on know if this is the fan. True, but it says the Dodgers in 2014 signed a 25 year eight point three five billion dollar deal for Sounds their That's about right. Was that like three fifty? How much does it cost to listen on 1053 the fan? Free. What Big about fat the app? Nothing. The ad, Odyssey Big app? fat nothing. It's You're free. Kidding. No. Yeah. What about that uh, go live? Like where oh, I can the alternate see your broadcast we do. Talk. Yeah. Also free. Kidding me? I'm not. Gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs>